the household, changing the structure of property ownership, which is what you've been talking about, uh, Bella, democratizing the procedure whereby investment decisions are made, or transforming other basic um, economic structures. Like she, I don't think, believes in private property for those who are very rich or you know, at the top or the bottom. And she says, unless we change things like that, um, society, that, that what, that's what she means by transformation. Um, going on to recognition and misrecognition, people can be prevented from interacting as peers by institutionalized hierarchies of cultural value that deny them the required standing. Here they would suffer from status inequality or misrecognition. So what she means by misrecognition is actually status inequality, which depreciates some categories of people and the qualities associated with them. So say, say caring work is depreciated, it's not regarded as proper work. Examples of misrecognition include cultural domination, being subjected to patterns of interpretation and communication that are associated with another culture and are alien or hostile to one's own. So I think this is what Crane was talking about a lot yesterday. <coughs> um, you know, the, the, how students experience higher education or non-recognition being rendered invisible by an authoritative, <coughs> representational, communicative, or interpretive practices. I'll give you an example of the murders that happened in Cape Town. We, you know, at UWC, we all had a student murdered at the same time as the UCT student, but there was no press coverage. We had a lecturer murdered at the same time in maths, a young man who was um, 30 years old and who was, whose car was hijacked. There was nothing that so so it's it's who gets into the media and why um, and disrespect being routinely maligned or disparaged in stereotypic public cultural representations and or in everyday life interactions. So this these things are happening like in residences, you know, where certain groups of people, depending on their perceived attributes are maligned and are treated very badly. Recognition requires a status order where there's equal respect for all participants and equal opportunity for achieving social esteem. So it's all about how you are regarded, how you are esteemed, how your qualities, your perceived qualities are esteemed. So in recognition, the victims of injustice are status groups distinguished by lesser respect, esteem, and prestige um, relative to other groups in society. The problem here is the status order, which is the same as the cultural dimension of society, struggles over race, gender, sexuality, religion, nationality, etc. So I'm going to ask you the same question now. For, for you to consider what are major issues of recognition here in South Africa and in South African higher education. So can you just chat about that a, a bit? Education practices jumps out a higher education, what the education issues that we being asked to communicate in the English language. So, possibly um, being asked to communicate in a way.